sure most of you have at least heard of the 1980s musical Cats, or maybe you've seen the 2019 film adaption. Or if you haven't seen it, then you've probably seen some of the frightening images that have come from this movie, including CGI cats, James Corden, and offbeat tap dancing cockroaches. The musical Cats follows the Jellicle Cats, who are all going to the Jellicle Ball. Every year at the Jellicle Ball, one cat is chosen to go to the heavy side lair, which basically means that that cat dies. <laughs> but the musical Cats has fun dance numbers and memorable music. The 2019 film got a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I think is unfair and does the film an injustice. The main argument against this hated film is the frightening CGI. But if you get rid of your closed-mindedness and see how great and innovative this film is, you'll see how great it is. Sure, there were cat boobs. But if you think about the time and effort and amount of people it took to make this film, you'll see how innovative it really is. Hooper wanted to use this technology to see the authentic emotions of these characters. And this was most successfully shown through Jennifer Hudson's version of the smash hit Memory. Her performance was authentic and had passion, and not to mention wonderful vocals. The film also had vocals from Taylor Swift, Jason Derulo, um, Ian McGregor, and Judi Dench, who brought female power to the film. Judi Dench plays Old Deuteronomy, who is the leader of the Jellico Cats, usually played by a male. But with Judy in the film, we have a woman in power. And for the final argument against this film, it is that there's a lack of plot, which is usually towards the musical. But in the movie, we are introduced to Victoria. We follow Victoria along her journey to meet all the Jellico cats. By including Victoria, audiences are given a clearer vision of why we're meeting these cats in the first place, which is to see which cat is worthy enough to go to the heavy side player. With underrated CGI, wonderful music and dance numbers, and talented vocal stars, why does Cat still have a bad rep? What is so bad about frightening life-size cats that may give your kids nightmares? I mean, have you seen real cats? They're sociopathic, self-centered creatures who lick themselves clean with their tongue and cough up hairballs. Given the choice between real cats and jellical cats, I'm going with the ones that can sing and dance any day. <laughs>